In this video, we're going to complete example three on bearings. It says a drone leaves at starting point O and flies 230 meters north, then 150 meters west. What bearing must the drone travel in order to take the shortest route back to the starting point? Correct to the nearest degree. Okay, so let's start by just drawing this. We've got our starting point O. So we'll label our point O. And next it says we are traveling 230 meters north. That means going directly up. So we really don't need our compass when we're going directly north because it's quite obvious how to draw a northerly direction. 230 meters north. Next we're going 150 meters west. Once again, we don't need our compass. West basically means just going to the left. 150 meters. Okay, it's asking us what bearing we must take in order to take the shortest route back to the starting point. Now, we started at the origin and our drone, I'm going to label it with a D, is currently at this point here. And in order to get back to the point of origin or the starting point, the drone needs to travel in a straight line that I've just drawn now. So we need to figure out the bearing the drone needs to take. So what we'll do is we'll grab our compass and we're going to put it where the drone is because we're trying to figure out the direction from this point that the drone must take. So I reckon what we need to do is we need to find this angle here, theta. There's going to be a little bit more than that but we'll focus on the angle theta at the moment. So we'll start by labeling sides. 230 meters is our opposite. Our hypotenuse has nothing labeled on it, so we're going to cancel it out. And then the 150 meters is our adjacent. So looking at our acronym, so ka toa we just need our adjacent and our opposite. So we're just going to use the last part of our acronym, opposite. And adjacent. So we're using tan. Tan of theta equals and then our vinculum bar. Now after T comes O and A comes last. That means that O or the opposite needs to go at the top of the fraction. Opposite was 230 meters and adjacent which is last 150 must go at the bottom of the fraction. So if we want to figure out what theta is, we need to bring tan to the other side, meaning we need to use inverse tan. And we need to put our fraction in brackets. Very important that you do that. Second function tan gives us inverse tan. Open up our brackets. 230 divide 150, close the brackets, equals, and we get about 56.8. Eight. Now, it wants it correct to the nearest degree, so we're going to round it up to 57 degrees. 57 degrees. All right. Now, to help us find the bearing, we, we can't just say it's 57 degrees, because that's not right, We're not, and you'll see soon why. Our angle theta is 57 degrees. But what we're actually trying to find is, remembering that bearings are measured from north, so we're trying to find this angle here that I've just marked in green all the way from north to that line. So 57 degrees is only a part of that. Also, we know that between north and east we have a right angle. So this part of the angle is 90 degrees, this part here, and then it's an extra 57 degrees to get to the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these two angles together. 90 degrees plus 57 degrees equals 147 Degrees. So the clone needs to travel at a bearing of 147 degrees to get home. In fact, we'll write that sentence down to finish off. Anyway, that concludes our video on example three. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.